I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my YouTube channel. And if you don't think a Savannah Monitor will play tug of war, you're wrong. Because they will. And they're actually really good at it. There we go. So if you guys like my videos, oh, he's strong. Please go ahead and leave a like. That helps grow my channel. Also, please comment on my videos. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I get to answer questions and see that you guys care. Uh, and if you're not a member of the family, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It helps me grow the channel even more. And I've listened to you guys and I do have a Patreon down below. Oh, the alligator death roll. So please go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, bell icon. Jones Gold & Luxury is a unique brand focused on jewelry made from gold and other precious metals. JGL's solid gold chains are classy, unisex, hold value, and they will last for generations. Their pricing is outstanding, and I would recommend JGL to anyone looking to own a fine piece of real gold jewelry. Any precious metals used in JGL's jewelry are ethically mined and sourced. Jones Gold & Luxury supports animal rescues and nature's welfare. Invest in a beautiful piece of jewelry today by visiting jonesgoldluxury.com. Links are in the description below. A lot of people have asked, what happens if I have a monitor lizard that I want to clean their kidneys, prevent gout, and you know that one millimeter syringe, they, they don't like it. They don't like that at all. They'll eat it. They'll bite the crap out of it. They'll bite the crap out of my hand. I'm not going to open Smog's mouth. Here's that one millimeter syringe here. One milliliter. Remember this thing? Simba hates this. He tries to bite the crap out of it. Not going to work. Garbage. Just throw it down again. So how do we get this into them? Well, guys, drastic times call for drastic measures. Disposable insulin syringe. Small guy. Small guy, peel the open. Small guy, why is it a small guy? Well, ah, why is it a small guy? Get these syringes. Needle. Because sometimes, guys, you have to do what you have to do. Plunger. Tart cherry juice. Best way to flush kidneys, prevent gout. Pull and hold. Because the syringe is very thin and it takes a while for the vacuum to catch up. Dun 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 dun. A little bit more. I like to give them the whole thing. Desperate times, guys. Pure tart cherry juice injection. So we have to do. There's nothing you can do. You have to do this. You have absolutely no choice other than to take this and inject it into a rodent that they're going to eat. I use rodents more as treats for my big monitors because, you know, they're really fatty, but they got a nice big cavity, so you can just <laughs> and inject and be done. Small needle, shove it in there. Just make sure that you're not a, you don't shove it all the way through and hit your hand. And then you're just, you're filling this thing up like a turkey on Thanksgiving. Look at that. This is one loaded rodent, ready to go, ready to give everyone the uh, nutrients that they need. So I'm going to fill, I got two more to fill up. The only thing is now this is dirty. It's been in a rodent. This was clean. This was sterile. I want to drink the rest of this. So I ain't shoving that back in there. We're going to get a, we're going to get another small cup that can, uh, have, have rodent syringe in it. So I'm going to just fill up the syringe. I'm going to load up two more rodents and then I'm just going to feed them off to link the quince monitor and to smog inventress. And you guys will see that I will catch you guys when I'm there. Hey guys, here's link 
quince monitor and uh, gonna feed him a little quiet because you know he's still a little shy but he loves food so that's gonna be his rodent and let's remember that in there we've got full uh, I went and put a second one off screen, but we've got two milliliters of tart cherry juice. So what that's going to do, that's just like a test to everyone else. So hopefully he's not eating butt first. Come on, man. But what's that going to do? So one, hydration. It's going to give him a ton of hydration. Two, it's going to give him magnesium, potassium. Really good. Really good for everyone. Three, that it's going to... Flush through those kidneys, that amount of fluid, that magnesium, that potassium, it's going to flush through the kidneys, making sure they're nice and clean. And then also, it's going to help check uh, and break down any gout crystals that may be forming. Gout crystals can be common sometimes in lizards that have a high protein diet and that don't have a lot of movement. And let's face it, as, as pets, these guys don't get a lot of movement. Even if you make a 20 foot by 20 foot by 20 foot high enclosure, it's not the same as walking for miles and miles and miles. He did decide to eat it butt first, like the best of us do. Oh boy, that's when he knows you're talking about him. And he just stops and stares at you. You had to go eat it like right behind this log, huh? Just couldn't, couldn't eat it in front. Just saw that I was filming you and purposely moved so you couldn't be seen. Anyways, he's doing great. His length is full now. It's almost three feet long. So now we're going to see his, uh, his body start to fill out. Let's go to Smog and Ventress. Smog, back up. I'm filming. Now let's remember, guys, Smog and Ventress are huge, but they're also very inquisitive. You know, they're trying, Smog, can you get up? So he saw me sit down and he's like, you're not coming to sit down for no reason. Uh, so here's Smog, my black throat monitor. And then in the back there is Ventress. Also a black throat monitor, female. So this, the feeding, at least for smog, guys, smog, back up, back up. The feeding, at least for smog, is going to be a blink and you'll miss it moment, okay? Smog, leave the camera tripod alone. For God's sakes, man. And Ventress is starting. Ventress, hi. You want to get over here too, Ventress? Back up. Back up. Back up. No, leave the lens alone. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, here comes Ventress. She's now interested. Oh, Lord. Okay, everyone calm down. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Try to feed him over here. Try to feed her. They're both going. All right, he's eating. And she's eating. That's it. That's it. Blink and you'll miss it. Boom. Two milliliters. Tart chip. Jesus. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's falling off the platform and almost took her with him. Smog, you moron. Get up here. What do you have to say for yourself? She's mad. Come here. Ugh. Ugh. Get up. Get up. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Oh God, she's almost falling again. All right, come on up. Come on up. Oh, God's sakes. For God's sakes. They go crazy for rodents. Okay. Ah, ah. We're going to leave all that in. Yeah, you're fall we got you falling on camera because I don't know what you were doing. But there we go, guys. That's uh, how you give tart cherry juice, clean out the kidneys, prevent gout, and much larger lizards. Now I got a problem. I got a tail that's two feet out of an enclosure that I have to slide this giant four foot glass pane shut. So smog, inside, foss, foss. Go inside smog, go inside, go inside. Put this inside, put that inside. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Put that inside. Put Go inside. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.